Petey's Peanut Butter Pizza by Joan Winifred Time for breakfast, Petey, said Mother. I made scrambled eggs and toast. Nope, peanut butter, said Petey. Petey, please eat your eggs and toast, she said. Nope, peanut butter, said Petey. Petey, peanut butter for breakfast, replied Mother. I don't think so. Come eat your eggs. Petey scrunched his face, shrugged his shoulders, and put his hands on his waist. Nope, peanut butter, insisted Petey. Okay, peanut butter for Petey. At least drink some orange juice, pleaded Mother. After breakfast, Petey ran off to have an adventure with his favorite toys. Petey was a quiet, smart boy of few words. Some might say Petey was hard to please, persistent and picky, possibly even persnickety. The truth is, Petey knew exactly what he liked and what he didn't like. Petey liked dogs, but not cats. Petey liked basketball, but not baseball. Petey liked school, but not homework. Petey liked green, but not pink. Petey liked the number eight, but not the number seven. Petey liked circles, but not triangles. Petey liked shorts, even in winter, but not pants. Petey liked sneakers, but not shoes. Petey liked candy, but not gum. Petey liked pizza parties, but not slumber parties. Most of all, Petey liked peanut butter, which he found positively perfect. Petey, lunchtime, please put down your toys and come eat, said Mother. I made you a ham and Swiss sandwich on rye with a garden salad. Nope, peanut butter, said Petey. Petey, please eat your ham and Swiss sandwich, she said. Nope. Peanut butter, said Petey. She reasoned, Petey, you had peanut butter for breakfast. Don't you want something different to eat for lunch? Petey scrunched his face, shrugged his shoulders, and put his hands on his waist. Nope, peanut butter, insisted Petey. Okay, peanut butter for Petey. At least drink some milk, pleaded his partially perturbed mother. After lunch, Petey went outside. He had lots of fun chasing his dog, Sammy, around the backyard. Before long, he heard Mother calling, Petey, come in for dinner. Please be sure to wash your hands before you eat. Petey left Sammy digging for a bone. He scrubbed his hands clean. Here's your spaghetti and meatballs, she said. Nope, peanut butter, said Petey. Uh-oh, here we go again, cried Mother. You like spaghetti and meatballs. Nope, peanut butter, said Petey. She asked, aren't you tired of eating the same food? Petey scrunched his face, shrugged his shoulders, and put his hands on his waist. Nope, peanut butter, insisted Petey. Okay, peanut butter for Petey. At least drink some water, pleaded Mother. Day after day and week after week, Mother would make him healthy, nutritious food for Petey. She offered him lasagna, grapes, corn, macaroni and cheese, and bread. Day after day and week after week, Petey predictably refused a dietary change. His favorite words became, Nope, peanut butter. He had made his decision. He was sticking to it. Petey was perfectly happy eating peanut butter for breakfast peanut butter for lunch, and peanut butter for dinner. It made Petey powerful and popular. Word spread fast about the boy who consumed the same food every single day. The neighbors nicknamed him the Peanut Butter Boy. Wherever he wandered around the neighborhood, a parade of children and squirrels followed. Despite his popularity, Petey's eating habits were becoming a problem. He was driving his mother nuts. He smelled like a giant peanut. She feared he was growing into one. At school, squirrels outnumbered the students. One by one, everyone began eating Petey's preference. Ms. Riley, his teacher, feared the worst. 
This addiction could spread to the entire school, the entire town. What would happen to the variety of well-balanced foods served in the cafeteria or at restaurants? Meals would be boring and no fun. How can I get the children to choose exciting new foods? She wondered. Mother received a notice from school. Petey's class was having a pizza party. Perfect, thought mother. Petey likes to cook. Petey likes pizza parties. Mother was thrilled. She hoped Petey would finally be sick of eating, you know what, and partake in some pizza. Petey, please come help me make a pizza for your class's pizza party tomorrow," said Mother. Petey popped into the room, washed his hands, and rolled out the dough. She asked, "Can you please put the tomato sauce on?" "Nope, peanut butter," said Petey. "Let's put peppers on," said Mother. "Nope, peanut butter." Said Petey, "How about pepperoni?" She asked. Petey scrunched his face, shrugged his shoulders, and put his hands on his waist. "Nope, peanut butter," insisted Petey. "Okay, peanut butter pizza for Petey," said Mother. Petey brought his pizza to the party. "Who wants a piece of Petey's pizza?" asked the teacher. Petey raised his hand, and so did everyone else in the class. Miss Riley let out a sigh of relief. Petey loved eating his pizza. Everyone loved eating his pizza. Even the teacher tried a slice. She said, "Hmm, Petey, your pizza is tasty and delicious. Did you use a special sauce in your recipe?" "Nope, peanut butter," said Petey. The end. Thanks for listening to this story. Downloaded for free from LightUpYourBrain dot com. Visit our website again soon for more great free audio stories.